Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight, page eight. So this is the end, we're getting close to the end. Okay, so we're gonna start with, this is going to be the base for page eight, and then we're gonna have a waterfall feature. So the first thing I'm gonna do is verify that I have my page right side up. And then I think I need to trim just a smidge off. Yeah. So it fits on the um, eight by eight. Okay. Okay, we're going to ink this. I'm going to do a different, well, it's the same waterfall you see everywhere, but I'm using a different size. I'm going to do five by seven panels, which are pretty large. Um, so it, they'll hold lots of photos. Um, four by six with a large border or larger scale um, pictures. And I'm going to insert them horizontally. All right. I'm, uh, it's Thursday. I'm getting excited. I'm going to a craft retreat this weekend. Scrap and Escapes here in San Diego over at the uh, Marriott Hotel um, in UTC. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of my friends. I haven't seen since, uh, I guess last year was the last time I was over there. So yeah, looking forward to that. I'm going to be working on a couple of new spine techniques um, that I hope to, that I hope pan out and I can incorporate into future projects. But I got to do a lot of prototyping and testing to make sure it's going to hold up. Um, so yeah. I don't usually, I don't have time for that normally when I'm here. That's the kind of stuff I can work on away from the house when I'm not under deadline. Okay, so um, the overall size of this waterfall is going to be seven by seven. So that means it's gonna have a, a half inch border all the way around. So I'm gonna draw some uh, reference lines so that I can uh, get this in straight. So like I said, it's going to be a half inch. So basically what I'm going to do is do a half inch here and a half inch here and build my corner and then I'll build my waterfall off of that. Okay, and two, three, needs to be two. And I'm going off the black cardstock. not the designer paper. Okay, so there's my corner. Now you're going to cut and trim out five. Five five and a half by seven. So this is seven inches across, five and a half inches tall. You're gonna do five of those. Okay, let me get my tape. While I'm doing this, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, we should be getting a new product in next week. And one of the, one of the things I think that's coming in is Magic Force, which is the Stamparia stuff. So if you haven't got your your order in yet, um, you should do so, because my guess is when I do a reveal, it's our first order is gonna sell out pretty quickly. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I definitely will be doing an album on that. Um, and I'm going to do, Yeah, I'm going to do a 12 by 12 collection, a 12 by 12 background, an 8 by 8 collection, and an 8 by 8 background. And if they don't have backgrounds, I'm going to do two 8 by 8 collections. And then I'm going to use some assorted dyes, but I'm not sure what dyes or some of the ephemera stuff that goes along with it. I hope to be doing um, a re reveal of that on Monday. It's hard for me to be exact on what my product, how much I'm going to use before I see it, but I took a good look at it over the course of the last few days, and I definitely need two 8x8s and two 12x12s. 
Um, but in the case of the 12 by 12, I know I've got a background that I can use and a collection. Um, now, as far as the eight by eight, I'm not sure if it's got a background or not. Um, if it does, then I'll do a background and a collection. If it doesn't, I'll do two collections. I just need that much paper. Okay, especially since you only get one of each per pack with Stamperia. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna bring this corner closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. But this we're, this is the top. Let me verify one more time, yes. This is the top. So I'm gonna rotate everything around before I start adding um, designer paper. Okay, now once you get the first one in, it's pretty easy to go line by line. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good look. Okay, I was getting a little bit of a shadow and it looked like I got it in crooked, but it is not. It is straight. So, yeah. Okay. Before I press it all into place, I like to test my edges and it looks good. It's hard to be perfect, but it looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. I need to move it over. I don't know what it is, but lately I have the hardest time getting a, a waterfall in straight. So I'm just gonna shift it over hmm, probably a sixteenth of an inch. Most people wouldn't care, but I do, so. I'm trying to lift it with my palette knife so I don't have to wait for my undo to dry. tugging on the paper too much because it does stretch. So it's pretty good. Good enough. Okay, I'm gonna erase my um, pencil marks real quick. Keep leaving that off. The ones on the top are covered, but erase this one. Okay. And we're going to add one more piece, which is gonna be five by seven right there. Where is it? No, it's going to be four and a half by seven. Okay, and it's going to go right here. But before we lay it down, we're going to start decorating. So what I did is I took a piece of the 12 by 12, and it's going to be 
the first image and then I've cut a half inch off the edge all the way down. So once I get all those pieces in place, um, we will have one complete picture. So let me get my strips in order. So it goes like this, like this. Nope, like this, like this, like this, okay. So the last, this this piece is not going to stick out. It's going to be tucked underneath. So we don't have to worry about that right now. And this will be the top. So we're not going to, well, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. This is going to be the image that comes up from the bottom here on this flange. So it's going to come up like so. And that's bigger than it needs to be, so I'm going to cut off a couple inches, and I'll tell you. So this is five and a half by two, five and a half by two. It's going to come up from the bottom like so, centered. And it's going to have this on it, and then behind all of this will be a magnet. So let's see. I want this to be pretty much centered. Mm, or actually I kind of like that so it's hard for you to see but right here is the edge of the first flap so that's about the location so that means I can now I, I now know roughly where my magnets gonna go if I can pick it up so I'll have a magnet on this side <laughs> Sorry about that. Right about there. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and put it down first. Uh, that looks right. So I am going to actually, I'm going to put some glue on this so I can wiggle it into its correct location. So we're going to hang it off the edge of the lowest flap and just close the flap. That looks, that looks good. Okay, so that's in place. Now that looks kind of funny here and that's why we have this, which is the last piece that's going to go in and have a mat around it. And when I say matte, I mean decorator paper on it. Okay. Now, let's do our magnets. I'm going to wait to put this magnet on until I get some paper on here because it may need to come up and reach. Um, and I may actually need to add a little gusset here. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and get started. We can decorate this though. So this is a trim down ephemera card. So I took an ephemera card. Which one is it? It's this one. And so I trimmed it down to the inside frame. So I kept the black and I cut away everything else so it would be a little bit smaller uh, and fit on this panel better. Ouch. Okay. So it's going to go like so. So I need to put it on a piece of black cardstock. So it's essentially double matted. The ephemera card's matted, and then this red is matted.
Okay, so that's gonna go like so. Now the next thing I need is to cover this. So I've got this I've also got the green, we can pull the green back in. I'm not sure, let's get some of the trim in first. So, let me get my strips back in order. It's four, three, two. Okay, that's right. Gotta ink it. You don't have to have a half inch strip for this piece because it's covered. It fits under the fourth, fifth panel. Now the way I'm gonna install these is the bottom one, I'm gonna put a border, a black border around it. And then on the next ones, I'm only gonna have the edges be black and the um, trim piece will go flush with the edge of the paper. And it, at, in the end, you'll see one black border around all of the panels. And that'll make a lot more sense in just a minute when you see it. Ink the next one. And then we'll put that little bit of black on the edge but we'll line this up with the edge of this flap. See, see what we're doing? So we're not leaving a black space between each one. I'm gonna put a little bit of ink on this edge.
Okay, and this will be the last one. And I blew it because I over trimmed it. I forgot I wanted to make that be one piece. So I've got a little bit more here than I had planned on. But it's meant to go in just like this. I'm not going to glue it down right now because I'm still trying to figure out the magnet now that I've got all the papers lined up. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put a second score line. And because it's already glued down, I know I can't put it in my scoreboard, so I'm going to use um, my score tool and a ruler, and I'm going to put a second score line in there. So this will come up just a little bit more. <clears throat> so it'll come up and over. Because I still have to put paper on both sides, um, so it's definitely going to get bigger, thicker. So... I like to use my Tim Holtz because then I can see roughly what I'm doing. I'm going to do an eighth of an inch. So I'm putting this dotted line here right on the existing score line. And then I'm going to move up, move from there. If I can see. It's not that easy. Okay, I got a good visual. Before I take my ruler away, I'm going to go underneath it and crease it. Secondary score line. And I'm going to crease it from the top now. Okay. Now you can see it's got a little bit of a gusset there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this panel. So for one thing, it's going to make this fit better, but also it's just going to give a little bit more room for everything that's under it. So it's going to have a little bit of a reach over. I'm having a hard time seeing, so I'm going to use a pencil to help me. Okay, I'm going to put a pencil mark here and here so I can see that's where the existing um, score is. So I'm going to line up with the existing score at the eighth inch mark. That should do it. Looks like it's slightly off on this side. Might have to straighten that out. Okay. It's a little too much. Little too much. just kind of a little bit rounded okay so we are ready to put our opposing magnet down and add our decorator paper
Okay. <sighs> I think now that I have everything in place, I think I do want to kind of center it top to bottom. So now we need to pick a pattern for here. Let's see, what do we think about that? Definitely not the rivers. I think I've got lots of two inch strips over here. That's not bad. No, I didn't like it. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. So let's do turn down just a tiny bit. Ink it and lay it down. I don't see my pencil mark, sorry. Now I know why, I see it now. That's just so I know where to put the glue. Not to go over that line. Now we need to finish off the back side. Okay, and then we're going to put some something here. Perfect. Oh my God.
Okay, there we go. That's page eight. All right, everybody. Getting there. I'm going to uh, take a break. Go figure out dinner. Figure out the inside uh, paper. And I'll be back soon. Oh, okay, everyone. While I was away, I went ahead and put down the mats for the A side. Ouch. Cut my finger. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the B side. Um, check in on the walkthrough. Um, I'm running out of larger pieces of paper. Um, so I may have to do some color blocking. But we can definitely do um, the same pattern on the A side for this waterfall. The B side may be just a collection of different things. Okay. Um, and then also I went ahead and covered my inserts. These inserts are 7 and 3 quarter by 7 and 3 quarter. And this is from the 8x8, eight eight, and I did four with uh, this on the A side, nothing on the B side at the moment. Um, during the walkthrough, I may have something on the back side if I've, if I've got enough paper. So we'll see. If not, then I'll definitely do a decorative strip so the edge that's sticking out uh, won't show. Okay, I'll be back shortly with a walkthrough. 